What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to install Easy Anti-Cheat on your Windows PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. Easy Anti-Cheat is a program that helps prevent cheating and hacking in online multiplayer games. Firstly, it's important to know that you can't usually install Easy Anti-Cheat directly from its website. If you try, you get a message saying that Easy Anti-Cheat is automatically installed and uninstalled with games that use it. So, manual installation isn't typically an option. To get Easy Anti-Cheat on your system, you need to install a game that uses it. When you install such a game, Easy Anti-Cheat is also installed as part of the game setup process. So, assuming that you install the game on your system that supports Easy Anti-Cheat, such as Fortnite, Navigate to that game's folder and go to the location where the game's launcher is located. This is usually in your program files directory, but it can vary based on where you choose to install the game. Inside this folder, look for a subfolder named Easy Anti-Cheat. In the Easy Anti-Cheat folder, you'll find a setup file, typically named Easy Anti-Cheat Setup.exe or something similar. Double-click this file to run it. This will start the Easy Anti-Cheat installation process for your game. Follow the on-screen prompts to complete the installation. The process is usually very straightforward and doesn't require any complex configuration. After installation, you can verify if Easy Anti-Cheat is working by starting the game. If Easy Anti-Cheat is running properly, you should be able to play online without any issues. If you encounter any issues during the installation, Try restarting your PC and repeating the process. Ensure that your game is updated to the latest version, as this can affect the Easy Anti-Cheat installation. These steps and more information will be available in my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.